I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of an absolutely stunning and seldom seen 1961 Chevrolet Bel Air Bubble Top Custom that is equipped with a Merlin all aluminum 540 cubic inch V8 with dual quads that's pushing 650 horsepower. To start off this video, uh, this is a non-rehearsed video. Um, everything that I'm going over here today is information that I've gathered about this vehicle. I'm sure I'm going to forget a ton of things about it, so please make sure to visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a full description with tons of highly detailed photos. We really go above and beyond with our photography so we can be as transparent as possible and you can truly see the condition of every vehicle that we sell at MS Classic Cars. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, you know I only collect uh, number one or number two condition vehicles. We take great pride uh, in the vehicles that we own and we're proud to say we are the only classic car dealership in the country that truly services every vehicle we sell. We go through these vehicles from head to toe. I have four full-time mechanics, including a service manager. We, again, do not care if they're factory correct cars, if they're custom cars or who built them. All classic cars need to be taken care of. They need to be sorted out. And that's exactly what we do here at the dealership. Again, we post the invoice with every listing of every car so you can clearly see the work that has been done. I create a brand new binder for every vehicle. This particular car took me literally five hours to go through all of the receipts. I put everything in methodical order. Uh, everything, again, is organized uh, completely here in this brand new oversized binder. And the first thing that I put in every binder for every car is the invoice. This invoice clearly, again, documents what we did. I invested a total of $5,466.08 in this particular car. Once the vehicles have gone through the service process, we then put them through a vigorous detail process. We obviously uh, completely detail the exteriors of the cars to the highest level. Uh, we do all of the uh, paint correction necessary, the glass, the stainless, etc. We get into the interiors. We put uh, LED lights in the inside so we can see the faintest of dust. We also do the same thing with the engine compartments and the undercarriages. Again, we bring them to the highest level we can as far as the detail process as well. So again, that is the MS Classic Cars process. People always ask why we have such limited amount of cars on our current inventory page when we have 60 or 70 cars within our collection. The answer is simple. Because the process we put these cars through, it takes time. We will never be the dealer to have 20 or 30 or 40 cars on our website simply because of the time it takes to put the cars through the process. So let's get into the story of this particular car. The first thing that I wanna do 
is I want to give a shout out. I never want to take recognition for restoration work uh, or builds because that's not what we do here at MS Classic Cars. Again, we buy these vehicles uh, already finished and then we sort through them in detail like I just mentioned. This particular car was acquired uh, by a gentleman in California. Uh, his name is right here in all of these uh, receipts and so forth. Want to make sure that I pronounce it right. Uh, Denton Hollyfield is his name. Again, he's from California. Um, he started uh, the restoration on this vehicle. As all the receipts indicate, we have hundreds of receipts. Um, he started it in 2013. He completed it in 2014. It only has 335 miles since it was completed. Once it was done, he did take the car to some car shows. We do have a best of show award uh, that he gave me with the car that will follow the car that is pictured within our photo gallery. So make sure to check that out as well. Um, before he started the restoration, what he had liked about this car, besides it being a authentic bubble top, one thing I want to mention also here before I go too far is I have printed a Chevrolet vehicle identification number breakdown list. Um, that is included in here. What that does is it clearly shows uh, what the vehicle was born as based on its VIN number. And I'll reference my notes uh, that I have here in this binder. Um, as the original VIN tag indicates, this car was built in Janesville, Michigan as a 61 Chevrolet Bel Air two-door sport coupe with an eight-cylinder engine. Um, as the original trim tag indicates, this vehicle left the factory in sea, uh, sea foam green, which is an awesome, awesome color if you've never seen it in person. And of course, it had this green interior. Uh, so again, he restored the vehicle in its original color combination. The trim tag that I just referred to is actually on the lower section of the firewall. Um, I believe it's actually on the driver's side. Uh, so I can take a picture of that and put that within our photo gallery as well. Um, but anyway, this car was in very original condition when he acquired it. Um, it does indeed retain most of its original sheet metal. He had said during the restoration process, the only sheet metal that he had to replace was uh, the driver's rear quarter, um, which is really uh, exceptional considering most of these vehicles did not survive, and the ones that did survive are typically uh, disasters. But this car coming where it came from um, and everything else, it was a really rust-free example. So. We have a very rare model, something that is highly desirable amongst enthusiasts and collectors because of that famous bubble top design. It's an absolutely gorgeous uh, body style. These are in high, high demand. Um, and what he wanted to do uh, during the restoration process was to, again, make the car look like it did when it left the factory regarding its color combination, give it kind of that nostalgic look um, to the exterior and interior, but he really wanted to make it a resto mod. So I refer to this vehicle, I kind of made up this name. Uh, I did this actually with a car that we sold three or four months ago uh, at Barrett Jackson. Um, I refer to this vehicle as a nostalgic resto mod. So once again, it looks factory correct uh, on the outside. Uh, maybe you could call it a sleeper if you will, but it's be so far above and beyond that. Once I start to get into what was actually done, you will clearly uh, recognize that. So once again, I give a shout out to Denton. He did an absolutely super job. We do have some restoration photos of the vehicle when he did the frame off, put it on a rotisserie, tipped it upside down and so forth. Um, those photos are actually in our photo gallery. So make sure to check those out as well. Uh, now, getting into uh, the exterior of the vehicle. Um, the body on this vehicle is very, very straight. Um, I think it has really good gap lines throughout. Uh, it definitely has better gap lines than the factory did, that's for sure. The hood opens up really nice, closes nicely. The doors open and close absolutely beautifully on this car, and so does the trunk lid in the back. So again, super nice body, really good gap lines. 
The car, again, was finished in sea foam green. If you have not seen this color green in person, it is absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite colors. Everybody who sees this car compliments the color. It's just a color that you don't see very often, and it really dresses this body style well. Uh, we did a really good job in the detail department uh, detailing the exterior of this vehicle. We did a paint correction to it. Uh, of course, we you know compounded, we buffed, we waxed, we polished, etc. It looks absolutely brilliant. Getting into the uh, glass, the front windshield, which is a beautiful windshield, it's a curving windshield, oversized. Uh, this is a brand new windshield. All of the glass, um, I'm referring to the vent glass, door glass, rear quarter glass, and the back window is all original glass, and it's in super, super nice condition. Uh, if you looked at it just very quickly, you would think that it was new. If you catch it at the right light, you can see a few little imperfections, but there was no need to replace it because it was so beautiful. As these hundreds of receipts document, and once again, uh, this is a big, big binder here. Look at the receipts on this car. Mind you, they're back and front. So I, I don't just have one receipt. I have them both back and front. There's got to be at least a couple of hundred receipts in here um, that clearly document everything that he did. Everything on the exterior of this vehicle was essentially replaced. I'm referring to all of the window trim windshield wiper arms, uh, this driver's side mirror, which has the Chevrolet bow tie in the back of it, uh, talking about that gorgeous uh, front grille that these cars have with those cross flags that look awesome, uh, talking about the, uh, the headlights. It has Sylvania halogen headlights. There's four of them, very unique look. Um, I know there was some receipts that he sent the uh, bumpers out to have the bumpers re-chromed, uh, which was a, a fortune just to do that. Um, all of the headlight buckets, all of the emblems, uh, door handles, um, tail lights, uh, tail light bezels, everything on the exterior of this car has been replaced and it is in absolutely beautiful condition. So uh, I can't say enough about it. One thing that I will comment on, um, I did not add up all the receipts uh, to be frank, but from what I've gathered, um, he had over $80,000 just in parts. We're not even talking about the cost of the car. We're not even talking about the labor. If you were to try to find a car like this one here today, and do exactly what Denton did, this would be a super expensive six-figure build. You can bank on that. Getting back to the exterior to kind of put the icing on the cake, wheel selection with cars is huge. Sometimes wheels can really change the look of a car, and, and that could be in a negative way as well. I think he made a great selection with these wheels. These are actually referred to as smoothies, these particular wheels here. He obviously painted them a body color to match. I thought that was a great idea. They're 15 by six in the front and they're 15 by eight in the rear. Um, and then what he did is he put a chrome rally uh, hubcap on with the Chevrolet emblem in the center. I thought that was perfect. Uh, and then of course the wheels are wrapped with BF Goodridge uh, radial uh, tires. And those are actually Silverstone is the, uh, the, the make uh, model tire. And also it has that red line uh, around which really just makes the exterior pop. I think it was the perfect choice of a wheel and tire package. Uh, regarding the tire size, um, the tires in the front are 215 7015s, and the tires in the back are 235 7015. So he did give the tires in the back just slightly a little bit more width and meat uh, than he did on the front. Again, perfect choice as far as that's concerned. Getting into the interior. Once again, when I was going over all of my notes and looking at this uh, interior here, uh, I think he spent like four or five or six thousand dollars just to purchase the materials for the interior and then he sent it to a company uh, that company actually I'm going to reference their name here and give them a shout out as well it's called Cottonwood Upholstery which is also in California they're the ones who actually did the interior that was another five or six thousand it's easy to say that he probably spent anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand dollars just in the interior of this car alone crazy so getting into the interior um, the headliner here they did an absolutely beautiful job it's brand 
brand new. Uh, this is the exact same color as the seafoam green on the exterior. Uh, the sun visors are brand new. These were also upholstered in the same color as the headliner. All of the sun visor um, brackets here are new. All the coat hangers are new. The dome light's new. One comment I will make about the dome light, this is a blue light. So the bulb I'm talking about is blue. So when you turn it on, it lights up blue, which is pretty cool. Um, the entire dash was completely restored. Uh, it was painted to a very high level of quality here. I'm talking about the entire dash. It's a very unique color. It's almost like a teal, kind of a teal green, if you will. Uh, just absolutely beautiful. Um, it does have its original style uh, speedometer, which again, the odometer he turned back so people would know how many miles were on the restoration. It says 335. Um, we did do some shakedown miles on this car. I believe when I bought it, it was in the high twos. So when we serviced the vehicle, we put about 35, 40 miles on it. Um, now, the steering wheel, the column, the dash, these pillar pieces were all painted that color green. All of the rest of the dash um, is all factory uh, correct components. I'm referring to the heater controls, uh, the Bel Air emblem, which is on the uh, normal glove box side, although the glove box is in the center of this dash, um, and so forth. The steering wheel's in beautiful condition. All that is factory correct. What he did do, which we have all the receipts for, is he decided to add a few custom touches to the interior. So he went out and purchased uh, Stuart Warner, which is a big name in the gauge business. Again, they're kind of error correct, if you will. Some of the tones actually match the tone of the interior. So on the left side of this uh, dash here, we have a RPM gauge tachometer, which is perfect. It's out of place. Looks like it was done at the factory. Then what he did is he mounted uh, the Stuart Warner gauges, we got an oil pressure gauge, we got a volt gauge, we got a te water temperature gauge and fuel gauge in the actual dash. I thought he did a beautiful job with that. Uh, I think it just looks awesome. Uh, and again, it kind of picks up some of the colors that are in the gauges in the interior of the car. Getting into the door panels and the kicker panels, um, these are a different shade of green. So we kind of have like three different shades of green in this car, which is really cool. The door panels are brand new. Um, what I really like about the door panels is they have three stripes on the door panels that also carries into the upholstery on the bench seat that I'm sitting in. Um, it just matches perfectly the stripes on the seats and on the door panels. It is such uh, a really cool, uh, classic look uh, when I look at all of this. Of course, everything in the interior, the vent window cranks, the window cranks, the door handles, the armrests, the door sills, the carpeting, everything is brand spanking new. It does have modern seat belts on the front uh, bench seat here. Of course, the back seat, which is extremely spacious, matches the front. Even the package tray in the back is brand new. Again, this is a brand new interior. Last but not least in the interior, we have a Mr. Gasket uh, boot that was actually put on the floor here. It's got a nice little chrome bezel. It has this really unique uh, billet style uh, shifter here. It's black, I think it looks perfect. And it has an American powertrain black shift knob for the transmission, and I will get into that in a minute. So that sums up the interior. Once again, this is a super, super nice interior. It complements the exterior perfectly. Getting into the trunk compartment, uh, the trunk compartment was done very similar to what it was done at the factory. Um, it's obviously been completely restored. He painted it the same color gray uh, that it would have been from day one. He did put down the factory style trunk mats, which were multiple pieces. And he also has a full size spare tire back there with a cover on it. Uh, that is an awesome trunk compartment. Um, in the vehicle now, we have a car cover that is included. I put that in the back of the trunk. I went to the store and I purchased a really nice plastic uh, tote to uh, hold the binder, uh, the award, uh, and some other miscellaneous parts that are included. So again, all of that is in the trunk. And before I forget, um, also in the trunk, we have the original new, uh, they're new, but they're original style rubber floor mats that are included. There's four of them, two, two for the front, two for the back. I went out and purchased a pair of front custom carpeted Bel Air floor mats that are in the car now. I thought it just gave it a little extra character. So again, I want to make sure that you're aware that there are two sets of floor mats that are included. So 
Here's where things get really, really fun. The engine compartment. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm speechless when it comes time for the engine compartment, and I'm not just talking about the quality of it. I'm talking about what the car is powered by, the heart of this car. First of all, um, the firewall was painted body color. The rest of the car was actually finished uh, in more of a satin black, the inner fenders, the radiator support, and so forth. But the engine itself, let's talk about this for a minute because this is something that's worth spending a minute on. This binder, what I normally do is I start with the receipts from the first date forward. I wanted to put the receipts for the engine in the front. This engine, which was ordered as a aluminum Merlin X 409 motor, obviously it was, it was you know, built to be a 540, was purchased from Bill Mitchell Products. Anybody who knows Bill Mitchell Products, awesome company. This is, a, anyone who knows Merlin, aluminum blocks, this is the best of the best kind of stuff here. It ha he has the shipping records when the motor was actually shipped, and this was just a bare block, okay? Just a, just a you know, short block deal here, and it goes into some of the things that he had ordered with it. And then what he did um, is he actually went to another company, I believe it's pronounced Shavroff, which is also a really big name. They're a racing engine and component company. Um, they're out of New York. He spent uh, another $5,500 with them ordering all of the best internal components. Um, the, just the cost of the block, before I go too quick here, just the cost of the block that we're, we're documenting here with receipts was like 6000 So before we even get into the assembly of the motor, he had a total of about $12,000 thousand dollars just in the parts we're not even getting into uh, some other stuff which i'm going to go into in a minute so then he connected with wooden sons drag racing out of reading california um, because denton is a drag racer this is a guy who uh, has a lot of history and really loves classic cars he spent a total which again is fully documented thirteen thousand one hundred twenty three dollars assembling this motor once the motor was assembled he hooked up with this particular company, Lamar Walden Automotive in Georgia. They're well known for uh, fabrication and custom work. They modified an LWA 690 intake to the aluminum block. That was like $2,000. So this entire engine, from what I've documented, uh, including all the parts and all the labor, was like between twenty-five and thirty thousand dollars was spent just on this engine. So it's a five forty cubic inch engine. It it is rated at six hundred and fifty horsepower based on all the specifications and everything. I did not get a dyno sheet, uh, so it could be a little bit more. It could be a little bit less, but we have enough information in there to gather. That's about what it's pushing. Um, the engine was dressed with a bunch of cool stuff. When it came to MS Classic Cars, we added the valve covers. We weren't too fond of the valve covers that Dent had put on it. So we went out and we purchased these really beautiful black Chevrolet valve covers. They look really authentic. We also kept the original air cleaner because that had to be modified for the two um, uh, carburetors that are on there. On the note of the carburetors, um, I'm gonna just gonna read this quickly off of my list here to make sure I give you correct information here. Um, the carburetors are actually not on this list here. I thought I actually put the carburetors on here, but I gotta go back to my uh, description and actually add the carburetors. But they're a Q series, they're like a quick fuel is what they call them, and there are two of them there. Uh, so they're a true dual quad setup. Um, again, a super expensive deal. Uh, so we painted the air cleaner black. We really gave it that extra touch. The engine compartment is dressed with a bunch of cool stuff like it has Moroso crankcase breathers, MSD programmable ignition system. It's got Taylor Pro Race uh, 490 wires. It's got a Holly HP billet fuel pump. It's got an Edelbrock uh, Victor Series aluminum water pump. It has Edelbrock aluminum heads. I could go on for days and days and days about what this engine compartment has to offer. It is truly, truly spectacular. Now, the engine is cooled uh, by an aluminum radiator 
with a Flexolite uh, electric fan, which works beautifully. It does have a billet canister for the overflow of antifreeze. I uh, did a really nice job with that. He actually placed it right next to the uh, Moroso canisters I just mentioned a minute ago. So that looks really crisp and clean. The engine actually breathes out of Sanderson ceramic uh, headers. Uh, a great choice. They're a great brand. Uh, and then that header system is connected to a three inch exhaust system with performance turbo mufflers that sound absolutely awesome when you start this car. You're going to hear it in a minute. Um, it has a uh, yellow Optima battery that we actually painted black at MS Classic Cars to, uh, to just make it look a little bit uh, more uh, in line with everything else regarding the color and so forth. We put a lot of time when we do things in MS Classic Cars, kind of designing everything. Um, I think I covered most of the stuff in the engine bay. Um, there is also a Willwood master cylinder in there for the braking system. There's also a billet clutch reservoir there as well. Uh, you'll clearly see in all of our photos in this video the rest of what the engine compartment has to offer. So now, the engine is coupled to a Tremec TKO 600 five-speed transmission. This is a great, great transmission. These are very, very popular. It was a great choice. This did not come out of a used car. This is something that he bought from American Powertrain. Um, so this was brand new. I want to say it was like $4,000, somewhere in that price range. He spared no spence. Um, he did put a racing style clutch in this car to handle all of this power. Um, it even has a G-Force uh, flywheel in the car. It just goes on and on and on. The, the power is actually transferred to the pavement through a brand new uh, Ford nine inch rear end. It's a posi rear end. It's got 3D9 gears. Um, it's been narrowed to fit properly and everything. Did a great job with that. Um, the undercarriage. When we get into the undercarriage, uh, when it was on the rotisserie, rather than painting it black, he made the decision to paint it the same color as the exterior of the car, the seafoam green. Um, he used more of a textured paint. That's really good for durability and so forth. Uh, it's good for rock chips and things when somebody's driving the car. Did an absolutely beautiful job with that. The frame and everything was painted black. It's, it's perfect under there. Um, you'll clearly see in all of our photos that it's mirror quality. So if you go to a car show, you can slide mirrors underneath it. It really, really represents itself well. And just to finish off with the undercarriage, the steering system, the suspension system, the brakes and everything were completely gone through. The braking system um, is an SSBC system. It's a four-wheel disc brake system. Uh, great choice with that. Again, as I mentioned, it has a Willwood master cylinder, so it's got really good brakes for good stopping power. Um, it does have upgraded front and rear sway bars, and it also has a rear QA1 double adjusting uh, trailer arms. So again, he spent a ton of money on this car. If you were to purchase this car and do everything that Denton did, this would easily be in the mid six figure price range to duplicate. It's for sale right here, right now. It's a great opportunity. Uh, so enough about the car. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. On the comment of starting it, uh, we normally at MS Classic Cars, pull the cars outside, start them, let them warm up, bring them back in. Today, it's actually super hot outside. It's almost like 100 degrees. We got the AC going. So I made the decision to start this car cold for you today during this video. Anybody who knows anything about high horsepower and a motor of this magnitude knows they can be a little bit cold-blooded to start. So I'm gonna turn the key here. I might not fire on the first time. It might fire, not sure, but I wanna show you how great this car starts. I'll give it up to uh, the guys in the service department for really dialing in. They did a great job. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Let you listen how beautiful the car runs. We really appreciate watching this video. If you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please make sure you do that. That is the number one way to follow MS Classic Cars. If you have not followed us on social media, please make sure to do that as well, okay? Thanks again for the support, for watching this video. Rock and roll. Look at that. No word of a lie. My foot's off the gas pedal on this car. That is a cold start. I have not started this car in literally five or six days, and that's how awesome this car runs. Once again, can't say enough about the guys in service and the work we do at MS Classic Cars. Picture yourself behind the steering wheel of this car cruising this baby. Thank you again.